Okay, everyone. Hello. Welcome to our uh, Tuba Shavat New Year of Trees uh, in Latino for Rosh Hashanah de los Arbores. Can I ask somebody to read the English here, please? Uh, behold how good and how pleasant it is for peoples to dwell together. Thank you. And um, please stay on mute and sing along with me uh, so that I feel like I'm uh, singing with you all together, not just singing to you. <laughs> Sorry, if you could mute. Sorry. <laughs> it doesn't work if we're all uh, unmuted. Sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> Shall we start again? He name a tovu manayim, shevetamingam yahaz. He name a tovu manayim, shevetamingam yahaz. In a matov, in a matov, ya la 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 la. In a matov, in a matov, ya la 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 la. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for people to dwell together. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for people to dwell together in harmony, in harmony. Ya la 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 He name a tovu manayim Shevet amin gam yahad He name a tovu manayim Shevet amin gam yahad And can I ask somebody else to read the English? Sing, Sing a song. A song. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sing a song for the Sabbath day. It is good to say to life and to express this with happy songs on this day. Mizmur shir le yom ha Shabbat, tov le hagid la chayim, ule zamer besimcha hayom, ule zamer besimcha hayom. Mizmur shir le yom ha Shabbat, tov le hagid le chaim, ule zamer besimcha hayom, ule zamer besimcha hayom. And can I ask somebody that hasn't spoken to read the English? Let the earth sprout vegetation, seed bearing plants, Fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed on it. Tadashe haaretz deshe Esev mazri azera Etz pri Ose pri lemino Asher zar ovo ala aretz. Can I ask a couple of people to read through um through this alternating? I can start. Today we celebrate Tu B'Shvat, the New Year for Trees. The New Year for Trees is celebrated in the Jewish month of Shabbat because in the land of Israel, much of the heavy rain season has passed and the sap is beginning to rise in the trees. In the Sephardi community, the holiday has been called Frutas, the Feast of Fruits, or Rosh Hashanah de la Arboras, the Rosh Hashanah of Trees. All these names remind us that we have a special connection to the earth and the very beginning of spring even though for many, it still feels like winter. Should I keep going? Sure. Yeah, that's right. Or summer for those in the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tu B'Shvat gives us hope that milder times are coming. The Seder of Tu B'Shvat has created as a tikkun, a ritual of repair. And by eating fruits and nuts with mindfulness and special blessings, we strive to repair our own brokenness and the brokenness of a world which is not yet as we wish it to be. This is a day for relating to the spirituality of the natural world. 
Amid the cold of winter, let us reconnect with the world of root and leaf, affirming our faith that spring will come. The strength we need to pass from winter through spring to summer is within us. We have found the strength to make it thus far, and along the way we have been strong for others, as they have been for us. And we say together, let us bless the strength within us that has enlivened us, sustained us, and brought us to this time. In Hebrew, Nevarech et koach betocheinu shehecheyanu vekiemanu vehigianu lasmanase. And in Ladino, bendita sea la fuerza al entro de Mosos, que nos enviva, nos sostiene y nos lleva hasta ahora. Amén. And uh, where it says all, please read with me. Uh, just going to adjust my screen. Yeah. May this two bishavat remind us of our obligations to the earth altogether to care for it and nurture it. May we be mindful of environmental destruction. Together, erosion of the ozone layer, global warming, deforestation, species extinction, toxic chemicals, runaway population growth. May we, be, may we remember that the poor suffer the most from these ills altogether. May we be inspired to take action to bring healing to our planet. Ken Yehi, may it be so.
Now we move on to our third cup. And can I have somebody that hasn't spoken yet, please read? And uh, we will get our cup, our white cup ready. The first cup of wine we drink is white, symbolizing winter. We remember the beauty of winter and the natural cycle of birth, growth, death, and rebirth. We remember that the wine began as a grape on the vine, and the sun, rain, and the earth that produced it, and that without the cold of winter, the vines would shrivel up and die in the heat. We are grateful for the balance of light and dark, without which life could not exist. Blessed is the light in life, and blessed is the fruit of the vine. Baruch haor b'chaim, uvaruch peri hagefen. Amen. Have your cup. Do we have Skip? Has Skip been able to arrive yet? He just came on just a few minutes ago. Right, I'm glad. I'm glad he managed to arrive. <clears throat> okay, um, we're going to ask four questions now because it's a seder, and in a seder we ask four questions. Um, and the first question is, what do you know about the trees in your neighborhood? Second question is, connected to the first one, can you describe at least one of them? Third question is, are you able to plant a tree somewhere in your neighborhood? And the fourth question is, what might this mean for you? And I think uh, it would be nice. How many of us are there? Um, are there quite a few of us? Should we go into um, breakout rooms? 17 of us. Sure. Yeah. Can we go in breakout rooms? Yeah. How, how many breakout rooms? We have 17 people. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe three people each to make it fair to people. And then if you leave the leadership team uh, out of the breakout rooms, so we can be in our own room. I don't know if I can, if I had to okay, make... No, no, no worries. I'll, I, I know we can break, I'll, I'll see how we can break it up. Me... And, uh, the two years ago in, in Texas, that is a shame. But also we are expressing the happiness uh, of for, for the possibility that have at the same time people around all the globe in this Habura sharing their experiences and sharing these ideas and, 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 and speaking in English, hablando en español, eh, okay. hablando en, en, en mucho ladino con mucha alegría, uh, and, and also hablando un, un poco en, en portugués. Meu, meu portugués is no bombo. It's, it's pequeño, pequeño. <laughs> El portuñol. <laughs> Thank you, Ariel. Muchas gracias. Um, and uh, Zoe, would you like to tell us about who was in your group and what you spoke about? Uh, okay, can you hear me? I'm, I'm kind of trying to be yes. a little quiet. Okay. Um, my group had, I don't know if it's Madeline or Madeline. Madeline, um, and Jamie, Jamie, I think, yeah, yeah, it was Jamie. Uh, yeah, we were talking um, about the different types of trees in our neighborhood. Um, planting trees is not uh, necessarily an option for some of us, uh, but we have a yard now, so I was talking about if I could. Um, and we were talking about the different types of trees, uh, I'm kind of new to this neighborhood, so I don't really know a lot of specifics, but um, I was talking about there's a giant fig tree outside the library uh, in my hometown. It's really um, amazing. I have a lot of memories like playing on it. Um, so yeah, we were just talking about that and um, like ideas um, for places that could benefit from a lot of uh, tree planting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and who who else is who else do we have? Um, that I haven't. That was in a different group. Uh, maybe Skip or Catherine. Were you in the same group? You and Skip. Yeah, um, we were in the group with Judith. Um, right. 
Um, I, I'm not sure if Catherine has anything that she wouldn't in particular like to share, but um, I'll just mention that um, I brought up that here in Utah, um, we have uh, a feature that I think is kind of rather extraordinary. We have an entire forest, very, very large forest, that looks as though it's just, um, you know, a, a collection of um, many, many trees of the same of the same kind, but each individual tree. But actually what scientists have discovered is that underneath the soil, it's actually all connected. It's all one organism. Um, they refer to it as Pando. And um, yeah. it, it, it's actually uh, it's actually just one massive organism here in, in Utah um, that's, that's growing up out of the soil. And I didn't mention this in our group, but I thought about it afterwards that it kind of makes me reflect um, on kind of some of the, the themes of, of, of what this holiday means for humanists, the interconnectedness, um, you know, the interconnected web of all life um, and, uh, you know, uh, our obligation to, to, to take care of, of, of one another and, and to, to maintain sustainability um, and that sort of thing. And, and also it kind of also makes me reflect on just how, like, how incredible, how marvelous um, uh, natural uh, creation actually is, um, you know, in uh, that there's, there's so much beauty and so much um, wonder in the world as, as it is just to be discovered. Beautiful, yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, Paula or Bessian, do you want to talk about our group, what we said? Uh, well, let's see. You know, we talked about the different trees that we each had could see near us, and but none of us are really tree planters, <laughs> I'd say. Um, well, Jane. Well, J James talked about true. his his part of the country and the, the trees he really seems to know about. Uh, he's, he said something interesting that he lives right on the one side yeah, of, of yeah. Oklahoma City has, is like the plains and the other side is the the last of the forest. And uh, so that was sort of interesting. But he lived in the less tree part, but he saw willows. Uh, down by a river, I and guess. He does do yeah. planting. He, yeah, he does like that. And Martin talked about the the lovely trees that sort of make a canopy. That he's trying to figure out what they are because they flower at this they time. Have at least one flower, uh, pink flower on them. Yeah, pink flowers. Yeah. And I don't know. It could be we have the witch hazel that yeah we have a... that has little yellow flowers all in winter, the winter, and just in the winter, and then just mm -hmm. leaves. Yeah. Otherwise, um, and uh, I we don't really do planting at this point of much of anything for various reasons. But we try flowers, but they're not we're, so successful. We really <laughs> enjoy being surrounded. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I look a lot, and I take a lot of photos. I love the shapes of. We have a wonderful arboretum near us, and we mm -hmm. we do go there a lot and walk there a lot. Yeah, and uh, they label all the trees, which is nice. Yeah, they and they they're wonderful, all kinds of and all, and we spend time there. And I just enjoy taking a lot of pictures and being among them. And I get to <laughs> Thank you. Is there anyone uh, whose group hasn't fed back yet to us? I think we've got every, all the groups, right? If you haven't, please say now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, move on then. Um, one second. Yeah, this is the tree that I was talking about in my neighborhood. I took this today, just a half hour before the service. Um, they have pinkish white flowers. It makes a canopy over, like, very low 
and it has this kind of canopy and I have no idea what it is. Um, if anybody recognizes it, please let me know. <laughs> um, okay. Can I have somebody perhaps that hasn't spoken yet? Uh, perhaps Arya, uh, would you like to read this? Learning is vital to our lives. It's enabled used to progress, to understand the world better, to develop and evolve. It is a tree of life for two who gas her, and those who hold onto her are happy. Its all ways are pleasant, and its paths peaceful. Es árbol de vida para los que de ella echan mano, y son felices los que la abrazan. Sus caminos son agradables, pues en ellos hay bienestar. Okay, so now we move on to our first fruit. And can I have somebody please read? Okay, first fruit, edible inside, inedible outside. If the three, each of the three types of fruit we eat can teach us about the world, about nature, and about ourselves. The first fruit we eat is a fruit with a hard outer shell that cannot be eaten. The shell protects its fruit, the fruit it's inside, just as a baby is protected in the womb. And a child is protected by their parents. The Hebrew word for compassion comes from the word for womb. Within each of our sometimes hard shell, there is a soft, tender, or compassionate part of us beneath the shell. Baruch ha'ol shel rachamanut. Less is the light of compassion. And I have an orange, and you can eat your fruit or, or uh, nuts now. Thank you. 
And now we move on to the second cup, the cup of hope. And this is um, white with a splash of red. And can I have someone, someone else please read? The second cup of wine is, is white with a splash of red. This represents the beginnings of spring, of hope. We know, even in the coldest days of winter, that spring will come, and with it, the rebirth of the earth. This is a time of hopeful anticipation. Even in the darkest times, let us never lose hope. As we lift our cups and say, blessed is the light of hope. Baruch haor bahadam, ubarik haor bayit kiva. Thank you. I have very small cups, by the way, so don't, don't worry that I'm sat here drinking four cups of wine. <laughs> okay, um, so now we move on to our second fruit. And can I have um, uh, maybe Luigi, if you would like to read? I don't know if you're reading Luigi, but um, if you are, you're on mute at the moment. Or somebody else? Second fruit, edible outside, inedible inside. A Jewish legend says the date palm is filled with blessing for every part of it can be used and every part of it is needed. We eat its fruit, its branches adorn the sukkah, its fronds are used for thatching, its fibers for ropes, its webbing for sieves, and its strong trunk for building. Let us celebrate that each one of us has a special role to play in making the world a better place. The many parts of us are needed and valued at home and in our communities. Together, let us work to make this world a better place. Kulanu navod letaken et haolam hazeh. And does somebody else want to take the Ladino? Because I don't want to ruin it. Yep. And in Ladino, aide laboremos ten juntos para mejorar este mundo. And you can eat your fruit. Thank you. And we now move on to the third cup, which is the cup of diversity. And this is red with a splash of white. And would somebody that hasn't spoken, please like to read. Hasn't recently spoken, please like to read. Third cup, the cup of diversity. The third cup is red with a splash of white. Spring in full blossom is wonderful and its colors abound all around us. Life is pregnant with diverse species of all kind. We celebrate that the world is filled with peoples of many backgrounds. Some of them are heroes, some we know about, and some are silent. This diversity adds to the richness of human culture. Diversity is a gift to cherish. Blessed is the gift of diversity. Berucha Hamatanat Magiun. Hi. Can I just remind people once you've finished speaking to mute yourself? Thank you. <laughs> Um, okay, and now we move on to the, the next fruit, which is entirely edible. Once upon a time, an old man was planting a fig tree, I have a fig, uh, by the side of the road, when a younger man happened by. He laughed at the old man and said, don't you realize it will take 20 years for the tree to grow and bear fruit? You'll be long dead by then. The old man replied, when I was a small child, I ate fruit because those who came before me planted trees. 
Am I not obliged to do the same for the next generation? And we take this moment and pause as we silently remember those who are no longer living, but whose good deeds and ideas still live on in our memory and inspire us to enrich the lives of those who follow. Um, if you would like to read the, uh, you can say the name of those that you are remembering now. Carlos. Please unmute yourselves to say the names of people that you would like to remember. Milton. Sadie. Jasper. My father, Leon. My grandma. Okay. Blessed is the memory of our loved ones. Zichronam Livracha. And you can eat your fruit. And we now move on to our fourth cup, which is entirely red. And can I have somebody, uh, again, please read the English? And when you see Amen, that's what everybody says to say Amen together, not the person reading. The Sabbath day. And on the Sabbath day, we complete the labor we perform. And we refrain on the seventh day from all the labor which we perform. And we bless the seventh day and sanctify it. For we then refrain from all our labor which we have to do. Attention, friends. Blessed is the light in life and blessed is the fruit of the vine. Amen. Amen. We have in love and favor claimed the Shabbat, a remem remembrance of the purpose of the world. For it, it is foremost among special occasions a symbol of the liberation of humanity. We have chosen peace and sanctify it above all good things. So we have set aside the Shabbat in love and in favor we have claimed it. Blessed is the light in humanity which sets aside the Shabbat. Yom HaShabbat Badcha Ubayom HaShri Amelech HaShenesta Vatishbot Bayom HaShvi Kol Amelech HaShenesta Nevarech Et Yom HaShvi Vanekadesh Oto Ki shalom bacharnu, veoto kidashnu, mi kol hatovim, ve shabbat kidashnu, ve ahava uvratzon nachalnu, baruch haor badam, mekadesh a shabbat. And can I have somebody else read this? And then we will all read together once we see we read together. Teshuvah, commonly translated as repentance, actually means return. Whilst our individual choices may feel small, they do indeed have an impact. We are Adam, 
human, one with Adama, earth. Nature is not this external thing that we simply govern our own. We are part of it. May we find our own agency and utility, and together may we partake in an environmental teshuva. Let us return to our best and truest selves. Let us cultivate a deeper understanding that we are part of the natural world. Let us step back into our role as a symbiotic relationship with the world. And uh, can I have somebody else read this? Um, Bendegamos. Let us bless life, the power that is within. Let us be grateful for the good things which we have. Praise be the good friend who always helps us. Raise up love for it is good. May there always be friendship. Let us bless life, firstly for our ethics, which tie our people to goodness continually. Praise be the good friend who always helps us. Raise up life which is good. May there always be health. Blessed be this house, the home to friendship, where we keep this festival with joy and permanence. Praise be the good friend who always helps us. Raise up love, which is good. May there always be friendship. And please sing along if you're able to. Hag Sameach, everyone. Thank you. Hag Sameach. Hag Sameach. So who is playing with you? Playing the guitar with that's you? My, that's my friend Martin. He's, I've, um, I've played it before in here. Um, I've shown that video before in here. Um, that was in July when we recorded that. Hmm. So for those that don't know, Bendigamos in the Spanish and Portuguese Minhag, um, the Western Sephardic uh, tradition, is sung at the end of services or uh, sometimes uh, in the place of Mirkas Amazon, Grace After Meals. So um, I wrote a humanistic version to it and it took forever to get it to the right rhythm. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> yeah. Did you did um, you say that his his name was also Martin? Yeah. Ah, okay. So the two of you singing together, you're the Martins. And then when yeah. you guys are in a house like that, and when you're in a house like that, you're the house Martins, right? House Martins. <laughs> 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, I'm going to stop recording, but I'm happy to stay um, on. I'm happy to stay on Zoom for a while if people want to chat about the service, about Shabbat, or anything else.